Okay, let's take a look at the example questions for angle bisectors. Remember that an angle bisector takes an angle and bisects it or splits it into two equal parts. And also remember that if we have an angle and we have an angle bisector here, that any point on that angle bisector will be equidistant or equal distance from the other two sides of the angle. This will be equal to this. Yeah. So let's see how these apply here. Our example A says is Y, so this point here, on the angle bisector of XYZ. So we have our XYZ here, and here's our angle bisector right here. And the question is, if we were to continue this ray right on up through, would Y be on that line? And the answer is yes, and we can show that because we have two lines here that are perpendiculars to the two other sides of the angle, and those two lines are the same length. They're both six units long. So since this line is congruent to this line, and Y is their intersection, Y must also be the same distance from each side of the, of the angle, which means that it's on that angle bisector. So the answer is yes. Okay, let's take a look at example two or example B. And example B says ray MO right here is the angle bisector of LMN. So the angle bisector of LMN, that tells us that of course these two angles here are the same. And we need to find the measure of X right here. Well, since this is the angle bisector, that tells us that this line here is congruent to this line here, which means that 4X minus 5 is the same thing as 23. So we just need to solve for X. We'll add 5 to both sides. 5's cancel. We have 4X over here. 23 plus 5 is 28. Divide both sides by 4. 4 is cancel. We get x equals 28 divided by 4, which is 7. So x is 7. Okay, example C. Example C says ray AB, right here, is the angle bisector for CAD, right here, CA. D, and we need to solve for the missing variable. So in this case, solve for x. Now if this ray AB is that angle bisector, as we're told, then that means that CB is congruent to BD, as in the last example. So that tells us that x plus 7 is equal to 2 times 3x minus 4. So now we just need to solve for x. So first we'll distribute that 2. We get 2 times 3x, that's 6x. And 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. It's equal to x plus 7. Now we have more x's on this side, because we have 6x's over here and only 1x on the left side. So let's move the x's to the right hand side. So we'll subtract x over here, and that'll cancel. And subtract x over here, and that'll be 7 equal to 5x. 6x minus 1x is 5x minus 8. We'll add 8 to both sides. And we'll get 15 is equal to 5x. Divide both sides by 3, and we get, or I'm sorry, by 5, and we get x equals 3, which tells us 3 plus 7 is 10, that this side over here is 10 units, and 3 times 3 is 9, minus 4 is 5, times 2 is 10. So they're the same as, of course, we would hope they would be. And that's it.